I want to sincerely apologize. Most sincerely apologize for the pain you have had to endure over those years. I want to ask you to come and join the pleasure which together we can bring as we take Trinidad football once again into the glorious days and into that new global era. An apology some may say that came seven years too late, but one that was duly accepted by the 2006 World Cup players. I'd like to say publicly, on behalf of the two team players, we do accept the apology from Mr. Timkey for what we experienced, and we look forward to working hand in hand to rebuild this new football in Trinidad Tobago. It was all smiles today as the long-standing issue of bonuses owed to 30 members of that team finally came to an end. President of the TTFF, Raymond Timke, said this was his first task as president and promised a high level of accountability as the new executive aims to take football forward. My philosophy is we have, we have over 100 and something and 20 something people owing money. Okay? That's that mind boggling when you look at them because some small and some not so small and so on. But, but things that have to be taken care of, and I could promise you that we are not going to enjoy one cup of soda before we honor our debts to the people who had entrusted their service and their own investment, their own money in, in supporting us in the past. Tim Key says he would like the 13 players to join him on this journey. With open arms, the association which I had is willing to welcome you, all of you. You have a contribution still to me, because if we are to go forward, we can only do so as you permit us to stand on the foundation of your strength, which has brought us success thus far. Brent Sancho thanked the players for standing up for what they believed was right. It was also proud to be part of a free team that despite names being brandished across political platforms, being called greedy, being called mercenaries, we still stay the course. The funding to pay the players was sourced from television rights for the 2014 World Cup cycle. No amounts were disclosed. In terms of this settlement, there are concerns from a security from a security standpoint and the safety of the boys, especially with the way things are in this country to disclose such a figure. The players have promised to work with the TTFF to try and get local football back to the top. Kent Fuentes sees level and you know there are many players, you know, who have doing the coaching badges and stuff like that who want to come back and contribute to Trinidad and Tobago's football. So as long as we're given the opportunity, and, you know, of course, I think, you know, Mr. Timkey, he is true to his word. Um, yeah, it's something we're willing to do, and, you know, we look forward to it. The World Cup goalkeeper, Jack, admitted that the ordeal did have a negative effect on local football. We've gone back quite a long way. Um, you, know, you know, just last time I was talking to Burns, and I don't think it's a situation that cannot be retrieved. I think it's a situation that could... You know, it, we, we could recover from it because there's the talent here. As long as, you know, from the top everything is organized and we have good coaches in place who could, you know, teach you right, you know, technical, you know, Im improve our technical level and, you know, our tactical awareness as players. I think there's a chance. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be difficult. Uh, you know, I could say that it's going to be very, very difficult. But it, it's not something that's impossible. As